Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of equations and inequalities. This is standard 7.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, we have a very simple equation, 2x plus 10 equals 28, and that's it. Nothing else for us to, to do except for to isolate this variable and find uh, what x equals. The trick, if you want to call it a trick, is that there's no f, g, h, or j to choose from. We're going to have to figure this out all on our own. So, let's rewrite it a little bit, bit bigger over here. It's really just going to take us two steps here, but the way we attack this equation is the order of operations in reverse. So when we are simplifying expressions, we always start from the top down. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, that's parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. When we are isolating the variable, we actually attack it from the bottom up because the bottom is where the weakest operations are. So you see this plus 10, that's an addition, and I'm trying to get this x all by itself. And so really it's being held on by this addition, this plus 10, and this 2 times x. So when you have a number next to a variable or a letter, it's always going to be multiplication. They just don't put the dot there. So I've got 2 to deal with, addition and multiplication. Going from the bottom up, Let's deal with this addition first. So how do I get rid of a plus 10? Well, the inverse operation is subtract. So instead of adding 10, I'm going to subtract 10. You see that those two are going to cancel each other out. I'm going to subtract 10 from this right here. And I've got 18. 28 minus 10 is 18. So now this is all that's left. 2x equals 18. So we still have a balanced equation. That is a multiplication, 2 times x. So we're going to use our inverse operation. We're going to divide. If we multiply by 2, we're going to divide both sides by 2. That's going to cancel itself out because it's going to, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Anything times is 1 is itself. So we're just going to put x there and 18 divided by 2. Looks like my answer is 9. Now, since there is no f, g, h, or j, wouldn't hurt to go ahead and plug this sucker back in. 2x plus 10 equals 28. Let's just make sure we did this right before we bubble it in. It's the nice thing about the multiple choice. If your answer's not there, you know you probably did something wrong. So we're going to substitute in this 9 where the x is. And so now we need to do the order of operations, but remember we need to do it from the top down. When we're actually simplifying, we do this from the top down. So if we don't have any parentheses or exponents, we do have a multiplication right here. So 2 times 9, right? Let's go ahead and show it like that so we can see exactly what we're doing. 2 times 9. So that's 18. We're going to deal with that first. So if we got rid of this. Now we need... There's no division, but we do need to worry about addition next. 18 plus 10 is 28, and there we go. 28 equals 28. Okay, 9 is good. So let's just bubble this thing in. The 7th grade answer document has a few of these items, and they're kind of convoluted a little bit here. So you're going to get this very thin column that's got a decimal. There's no bubbles underneath it. You've got two digits to the right of that, the tenths and the hundredths. They're not labeled. That's the only thing that makes this tricky. There's no labels here. You don't need either of those since our answer is just 9. It's just going to go in the ones place. If you put 9.0, 9.00, I guess it'd be okay. There's no point to it. Then you got a positive and negative. You don't really need either of those either. Literally, you just need to put the 9 right here in the ones place, and that's it. Bubble it in down here. Nothing fancier than that. Our answer is 9.